Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the World Class Competition 2022 right here in Nairobi, Kenya. My name is Miana Mushiri and I am your host. Introducing your judges for the 2022 competition, Kelvin Thyro and Dougie Duncanson. This year we had six finalists and they were as follows. Francis, Benson, Marcus, Milton, Annette, and Ben. This being the seventh edition all being held here in Nairobi, they could only be one winner. Cocktail competition round one with Tanqueray. Francis Dongu. My name is Francis Ndongu Ogitao, uh, head mixologist of Hero Bar and Restaurant. Uh, I learned to know about world class uh, through the brand amb ambassadors and uh, some of their representatives. It's last year I competed, uh, I managed to reach seventh, really joined uh, because I wanted to better my family uh, situation back at home. But uh, as I was continuing, I realized this has become a passion, has become part of me. But if I win this world class, I'll dedicate it uh, to my family, most of all who have been supporting me, and most especially my late dad, who is passed uh, on recently last year due to COVID, uh, who supported me in this journey without knowing what bartending is. This win will go a long way to represent uh, where I come from. I made my cocktail and I named it the Traveler's Martini, which entails my homemade vermouth. That contains the following botanicals. It has some fennel seeds, some brioche. Why did I choose to use brioche? To complement the best spirit of tank tankery number 10, which has wheat. I'm using a sort of citric to bring out the citric notes of Tankare number 10. I used juniper berries, cardamom, cinnamon to bring out the spicy notes of our mouth. Thank you very much. Up next, Annette Mulama. Hey, my name is Annette Mulama and I am a bartender at Noah Gallery. I heard about world class from fellow bartenders and also from seeing videos on YouTube. I joined the bartending world because I enjoy everything that goes on behind the counter. I enjoy creating recipes. I enjoy seeing guests enjoying my drinks. I enjoy combining flavors that blend really well. My expectation if I win is to be able to learn about more things because I believe bartending, you keep on learning as the days go by. I would like to know what people do in other countries. I would like to know how the spirits come to be, what they are and how they are enjoyed and other cultures. My name is Annette Mulama, and finally you get to see a girl up on stage. <laughs> I'm going to be making you a Tankare Martini, and my drink is, is going to be called Dreamer. This drink represents a small girl with big dreams, with ambitions, and this girl is ready to take up the stage, to take up everything she needs to take to the top, and that girl is me. Yeah. <laughs> so first off, we Tankare 10. Fun fact about it that I found out about, uh, I used to think that it has 10 premium botanicals, but actually it is distilled in the 10th steel of Tankare. So that's important point to note down. So with this one, I decided to come up with a drink that will enhance the characters of Tankare 10 and still come up with a drink that will be sustainable with zero to no wastage. So with that, I created a vermouth. Here we may have a vermouth that has apples, oranges, um, grapefruits, English lavender from our garden at Snoa Gallery, and I dried chamomile using oven, and I have dried cranberry, I have uh, cloves, I have coriander seeds, peppercorns and sweet peppercorns. I 
a sip of this and you get to see my dreams. <laughs> Up next, Ben Gitonga. My name is Ben Gitonga, representing Hemingway's Hotel Nairobi Current. Uh, I go to hear about world class from our Kenyan market, because last year I competed for the world class, top 20, and still this year I'm trying my best. What I enjoy most about bartending, it's meeting different people of different classes and connecting with people. You emerge number one to represent Kenya in Australia, it will be a dream come true, and what I'll venture in is still in the bartending society. I'm here today to show you what I'm made of. I'm going to use tankari number 10, 60 ml, spicy vermouth, 15 ml, and I always love making tinctures. Tinctures with drinks, it's a good combination. It's a match made in heaven. So I have fennel and the dragon fruit. Dragon fruit is a local ingredient grown in Meru. This way it's, it began back then. So I have my flavor shaker. The flavor shaker this is a thing coming in the industry. We have a ball used to mix the flavors and crush the ice. Some lukewarm water, some little bit of salt, infuse with some any fruits you like or herbs. Salud to bartenders. And my cocktail is called Papa. Tribute to Ernest Hemingway. Up next, Benson Kanye. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Benson Kanye, representing Wajaba all the way from coastal Kenya. And I'm glad to be here today. My cocktail is named Maitini, so you just replace the A and R and it becomes my tini. It's how I want it or how I will prefer to take it. And so I decided to make something that is more palatable to the coastal people or represent the coastal people. So I used a Chardonnay that has fruity flavors in it and uh, added some coastal spices which is let's say pilau masala and uh, to narrow them down cumin cinnamon and uh, cloves star anise i as well used coriander seeds and uh, oregano and some basil leaves to make it more sweeter or have the sweet aroma in it Karibu sana. Yes. I'll put some drops of my homemade allspice bitters. Yeah. just around it to enhance the flavor in it. Up next, Milton Mureta. I'll be presenting to you Cantini Cocktail. Cantini Cocktail is a tankery number 10 based cocktail inspired by the spirit of giving people authentic local experience. It is made with 60 ml of tankery number 10 that ml of homemade vermouth. This particular vermouth is made with three local ingredients. That is Chenin Blanc wine from the Lesha wine Naivasha, chamomile, chamomile tea, and uh, fennel seeds. The reason why I used uh, three ingredients is because when Charles Tankery made this particular gin, he made it with four simple ingredients. As you can see, my glass was inspired by 
uh, the thought of uh, environmental conservation because Tanker gin being the number one selling gin in the world, there are a lot of bottles that uh, are thrown away. So I decided to repurpose those bottles by cutting the top of the Tanker gin bottle and uh, using it as uh, my glass. Up next, Marcus Mutuku. My name is Marcus Mutuku Maina. I'm a bartender at Hero Restaurant, Trademark Hotel, Village Market. So today I'll be making a, a gin, a gin martini, and I'll be using uh, the best uh, gin in the world right now. This cologne has uh, chamomile tea. As you know, uh, Tankari number no. 10 has chamomile flowers as well. So it's a rose water chamomile yes. spread. Okay, brilliant. Okay. Simplicity is the utmost sophistication. And I present to you my martini number no. 10. Thank you. Beautiful. And this is the commercial break where influencers competed against each other. Cocktail competition round two with Johnny Walker. My name is Marcus Mutuku Maina. I'm a bartender at Hero, Hero Bar and Restaurant, uh, Village Market. I had about world class in uh, around 2016. Uh, a friend of mine participated, and so I always wanted to become one of the best, so I joined. Uh, I've always loved uh, playing around with ingredients. Funny thing, I would have been a chef. Went to Tali College, but when I went for my internship, I just fell in love with the bar. I enjoy bartending because of the free space I get to work in. I get to meet a lot of people, a lot of influential people. My expectation if I win, I'd like to meet other world-class bartenders, learn different techniques from Asia, America, South America, and also to teach now the African side of bartending. I'm ready to present to you my cocktail, the Walking Dragon. My cocktail has uh, dragon fruit tepache, uh, smoked oleo saccharum, and a bit of lime juice. This is my smoked oleo saccharum. I'm going to balance it off with a, a bit of lime, just 10 ml. I'm going to use a uh, Johnny Walker Black. Up next, Benson Kanyi. My name is Benson Kanyi, and uh, I'm coming all the way from coast, representing Waja, meaning Yani Unakam. I got to hear world class through word of mouth, and also finding my research on internet. What made me join bartending is something that I've always wanted. I enjoy bartending because of serving people, coming up with drinks for every moment. My expectation if I win world class is to represent my country and uh, the bartending people in Kenya and showcase what Kenya has as a bartending community and as well as Africa. Today I'm going to present you a drink called Walk With Me. It's basically a drink that takes you on a journey of my world class experience so far. For my cordial, I made it using hamun or zambarau, a fruit, 
some dates, passion fruit, uh, which one is the one that's called granadilla. With this, I'll use 50 ml of each. For John Walker, I'll be using 60 ml. So I'll top up with some soda water, give it a nice stir, and bring out those flavors from Johnny Walker. So I'll make a rose from the tangerine, ready to present to you judges with a walk with me. And I hope every sip you take takes you with me on that walk. Up next, Milton Mureta. My name is Milton Mureta, uh, working at Quiver Lounge. I've been working in the bartending industry for a few years now, and uh, I've been interacting with the, with uh, Diageo product. That's how I came to get to know about water class. Most thing I enjoy about bartending is uh, you get to interact with different people every day, you get to make people happy. My expectation if I win is that uh, I get to go out there in the world and interact with other world-class bartenders and uh, get to know what is going outside Kenya. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I am Milton Moreta, representing Quiver. And today, I'll be making you a John Walker Fast Draft cocktail. This cocktail is a John Walker Black Label-based cocktail inspired by the spirit of safari. The cocktail itself is called the Voyager. Who is a Voyager? Voyager is someone who goes beyond the boundaries, who is open to exploration, to explore new boundaries every day. And today, I'm going to take you on a virtual tour around Kenya. My cocktail has John Walker 60 ml and traditional, note the word traditional Meru Uji. In this challenge, we're using 60 ml of Uji 60 ml of John Walker, then we carbonate. For dilution, we need extra chilled water. Up next, Francis Dongu. Welcome once more in my bar, Gatundu Bar. <laughs> Let me take you to a journey. A second journey, uh, indeed. So they say, it takes a village to raise a child. But what they don't say, is that it takes a strong woman to feed the entire village. The memory of my mother, serving our extended family breakfast, where we all sat at the fireplace, is still fresh in my mind. It is this daily tradition of a filling breakfast that gave us the energy to keep walking. Gatondo is known for its cold and chilly morning. The only source of warmth was from our hearts and our smoke-filled hearts. It is in this heart where all the magic happened. The sweet aromas of cassava, that pair with a hot cup of tea, ah, that meant breakfast was served. <laughs> Just like my mother, bars around the world have decided to come up with ways of serving cocktails efficiently while maintaining the consistency. I decided to create my cocktail and I named it the Gatondo Breakfast. To pay homage to my people as well as to come up with a creation that perfectly suits the draft system. I made a cordial out of black tea, roasted and later on caramelized cassava to represent the shared breakfast at home as well as to complement the smoky and creamy notes of John Walker Black Label. For my single serve, I'm using 40 ml of that. Since it's two of them, I'll be doing 80 ml. I'm using 
or rather I made a milk tincture made from roasted milk powder and later infused with a spirit of proof 80%. I'm also using 10 ml of a single serve of citric acid solution. I'm using 70 ml of pure water. So I made a clear ice block to represent the chilly mornings in Gatondo. I'll be doing it in a siphon to represent a draft system. I'll be using CO2 bullet. I give it a shake to make sure the CO2 circulates in my cocktail for Dagi and Kevin. <laughs> To crown my creation, I'm using a tea bud and some roasted cassava. The Gatondo breakfast. Viva Gatondo! Up next, Annette Mulama. Good afternoon, guys. Hi, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> It's me again. Um, for those who are not here, my name is Annette and I'm your bartender for the day. So right now we're going on to the Johnny Walker Draft Challenge and I will be making you a drink called Keep Walking in honor of the rich Johnny Walker Black Label. I am inspired to do more. I have the passion to create cocktails, to create menus, and to learn more, and I will keep working into new ventures and into new ideas. I am ready to put in the work. So this cocktail represents me as a person and Johnny Walker. So I wanted to enhance the characters in this Johnny Walker and give you a drink that when you drink, you have Johnny Walker, but you still have the like a really nice taste, a drink that you can enjoy, a slow drink instead of taking whiskey as neat or on the rocks. I extracted uh, apple and pear juice, which I infused with black peppercorns uh, for about 24 hours, and then I smoked it. Johnny Walker has herbal hints. So that's why I made a lemon bang and lemongrass tea. Johnny Walker has a citrus, citrus notes. So for my citrus, I'm going with pineapple because as we all know, pineapple is quite citrusy. Now I will use um, 50 ml of the Johnny Walker Black Label. I am going to top it up with tonic water. I will garnish my drink using lemon balm and a piece of pear. Keep working, guys. I'd like to congratulate the finalists for this year. It, it has been quite a journey, a few months journey for them to get to the year. I want to tell you that even if you don't win this year, there's always a next time. Like for me, I've done the world class since 2015, and it's only that last year that I came to win. So, if you lose this year, there's always next year, the following year, the following year, and the world class is here to stay. And uh, lastly, I'd like to thank Diageo and EABL for giving the bartenders this opportunity to showcase what they have and what they can do in terms of drinks and creation and creativity. So, in general, the future for Kenyan bartenders is bright. For those of you that don't know, our winner tonight is gonna to be competing against 55 of the best bartenders from each country in the world in a setup in Australia and competitions over an entire week. Okay, that's the level that they're going to. It's going to be a fantastic experience. They're going to make friends for life. Cohen will tell you, Samia will tell you, uh, Patrick will tell you. They, they now have got friends from all over the world from the year they did world class. So guys in the top six, 
Come, if you don't win, come back next year, be better, be stronger, be harder, be more creative. But all be, the main thing is, this is the bartender community, and we're all friends here. It's about booze and having a little bit of fun. And the winner is Francis Dongu, who will represent Kenya later this year in Sydney, Australia. Today, World Class was an interesting experience. I've been involved in World Class since 2015. This is the first time I've had the privilege of actually judging. I'm normally running around behind the scenes. And to taste the 12 cocktails that the six contestants made for us was fantastic. Um, there was some amazing drinks, some very interesting flavors. And it's, a, again, a really good uh, showcasing of the drinks industry here in Kenya. Francis performed really well in the Tanqueray Challenge today. He made his own homemade vermouth with lots of hints of different herbs and spices. And also he even infused it with brioche, which was also in the vermouth, but also part of his garnish for his martini cocktail. Just a wonderful twist, but also bringing out the wonderful flavors of Tanqueray 10. Also sidelined with his homemade vermouth, just a really, really super world-class drink. And how he delivered it as well, engaging for all the crowd watching and for us as judges. He just did a really good job. Francis stood out amongst all the six competitors uh, he, had, he had done some research on what he was, he was making, like for the presentation of his drink and the story behind it, uh, relating it to his culture and his family and his dad. It was all connecting to come up with a cultural drink that represented Kenya, not only Johnny Walker, but also represented Kenya. It's a dream come true. It has been a journey. Uh, last year, as I said, I tried, I tried and I came number seven. So the judges, I reached out to the judges and got feedback on the same. And they told me how to improve uh, and where and where I went wrong. Uh, so from the support of my family, the guys around me from the bar, people who have been doing uh, the presentations, uh, a big shout out to them. And I'm ready to represent Kenya to the world. What I can tell Kenya is that I'm going to go, go out there and do a tremendous job and make sure everyone knows that there is uh, excellent bartenders in Kenya and they should know that Kenya has very nice techniques of making drinks and also personali good personalities in the bartending industry. Thank you very much to Diageo uh, for growing us as bartenders. It has been a journey. Actually for me I've benefited a lot from Diageo because I've been a Diageo Bar Academy trainer from last year till date and now been benefiting from the world class studios and now the winner. Yes, thank you. Big shout out for, to Diageo. Long live Diageo.